Welcome to the Orchestra Team's Drupal Basics series. This video will cover how to add basic page content. First, this process requires you to log into your Drupal site with an account that has permission to create pages. If we jump over to the Portland Community Media test site, we can see that I'm already logged in as PCM Train, an administrative user. Now, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the area where we create new content. We do this by going up to the title bar and saying our root domain name, pcm.orchestrateam.com, and doing slash node, slash add. This takes us to a page that lists our various content types and allows us to click on one to add. Here we see we have a page. The page has a description about what exactly it is, and by clicking on it, we get to an area that allows us to build a new page. Now before we really get into this, it's probably a good idea to look at what actually a page is. If we look at it, in keeping with our A-Team theme, we see we have a header image for a page. We have a title, and we have a page body. I'm going to show you how all these fields correspond to different areas of the, the content creation part, portion of the site. Now, based upon who's logged in, this content creation page may look a little bit different. We're logged in as a site admin right now, so we have a large variety of options available to us. I'm going to run through the various options starting with the most basic. The most basic parts of a page are a page title and a page body. We're going to go ahead and create a new page with a title of All About Flowers. Now we just need something for the body. I happen to have up the flower page from Wikipedia, so I'm just going to copy this text here and paste it into the body of this particular page we're creating. In addition, I'm able to add images. We can do this using the image insert module that we've, that we've built for Drupal. So I'm just going to add some tulips here. And I'm going to pick the place in the text that I want to insert this image. I'm going to go ahead and insert it. If I'm using Firefox, I'm also able to do neat things like resize the image in this particular frame. This one's obviously really big, so we're going to go ahead and shrink it down to something that's a little bit more manageable. There, now we have a nice size image of tulips that's inserted into the text. Now, if you're a basic user, this page is pretty much ready to go. You can go ahead and publish it at this point by going down to the bottom of the page and clicking on the Save button. But if you're an admin, or a site editor and you want to do a little bit more with it, you can edit the top descriptive image. That's that A-Team van that we saw over here on our test page. In this case, we're going to go ahead and browse for a new image and take this chrysanthemum picture here and put it as our header image. In addition to that, we have a lot of options about uh, whether or not we want this page to be part of a menu. In this case, we're going to make the menu link title flowers. And we're going to go ahead and put it underneath the services menu. You can also assign a weight to see what order those links will appear. Scrolling down, we can determine the input format for a particular piece of content. Most users are just going to have access to filtered HTML, but some users will have access to full HTML or PHP code or even block input. Right now, full HTML is fine for us. Some other things you can do are create new revisions of this page. If you want to have a page that you, say, you still save off the old one, but you have new information about, you can actually create a new revision here. Since this is the first time we're creating this page, we don't really need to build a new revision. One of the big things, though, is the URL path. By default, this will just show up as pcm.orchestrateam.com slash node and then slash a number. In this case, we're going to change this to be a different path. Now let's have the URL of flowers. We can also set up comment settings, in this case they're disabled, have some authoring information if we want to change the date it was authored or who it was authored by, and we're going to go ahead and publish this guy. So let's save our content. Now we can see the page all about flowers has been created. It has our header graphic, it has our title, and it has the text that we went ahead and put in. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. You can see more videos like this by clicking on the playlist link in the video. Also, if you have any questions, you can visit us at orchestrateam.com or send an email to info at orchestrateam.com. Have a great day.